hello everyone welcome back to my channel prince automation destination so in our previous lecture of git series we discussed about the basic git commands that we use on the daily basis we discussed about git clone git add status commit and push in case you are not already aware or in case uh, uh, you don't have any idea on these commands i'll request you to please take a look on the previous video which will help you gain some understanding around these commands right i'll be sharing the link of same in the eye icon at the top so you can take a look from there so there are like lot more commands that we use in the git but in order to use those commands first we need to understand about the branching strategy right so let me demonstrate it from the example side first so if you remember last time we made this change and we directly pushed our changes into the master branch right but in actual or in the real project this is not how we work what we do in fact we don't allow users to push the changes directly into the master reason being is master is the most stable branch so let us say they are 100 test cases which are already automated and there is regression suit which is getting executed against this master branch right so let us say user one is working on something and he has made some changes and he has directly pushed his changes into master and because of his changes let us say the master has now started breaking and they are like compilation error which would lead to the blocking of execution right meaning the master is now in break stage break status i mean in that case we won't be able to execute the test cases so we should not allow the users to directly push the changes one thing is this second aspect is code review so when we work in the real time we want our code to be reviewed by others so that we push the right set of changes right as per the coding guidelines and something for that code reviewer is there so for that purpose also we don't allow the users to push their changes directly right so now let us understand from here so like in real time we don't allow users to push their changes so for that purpose we implement one branching strategy so branching strategy is nothing uh, so we maintain different branches so we have master branch this is one a generic branching strategy which i am discussing and this is followed across industry but it may vary from organization to organization so at top we have the master branch which is the stable branch from where the regression suits or smoke suits are executed right from master we create a develop branch which is just exact replica of develop right so uh, uh, now from develop now the master and develop both are made protected meaning we don't want users to push their changes directly into the master as well as develop so from develop how we work in the industry so let us say there are two testers in the team so they will create their own branches let us say user one is working on login feature and user two is working on dashboard feature both take or both created the branches at the same time suppose user one has made his changes changes and now what he want is he want his changes to be merged into develop wants his changes to be pushed to develop for that purpose what he will have to do because this is a protected branch right so he won't be able to directly push his changes so what he will have to do so the alternative to that is raising an mr or pr in some cases we call it merge request and in some cases we call it pull request these two terms are interchangeably used so once he raise the mr and assign it to the code reviewer then the code reviewer will take a look he will look for any issues if there are no issues he will approve the merge request or pull request and get his changes merged into the develop right now suppose user 2 also has uh, completed his assignment meaning he has also automated his script but now he wants his changes also to be merged into develop so if he will try to raise the mr or pull request he won't be able to get his changes merged into develop reason being is develop now has the latest changes of feature one as well so in order to feature two be merged with feature one first we need to take the latest copy or latest code from develop so that feature two has the brand the changes of feature one so for that purpose what we use we use git pull so we will be uh, covering these commands later uh, in the upcoming session so when we will do git pull we will have now the changes of feature one as well so when we will have feature one changes 
this is where we will raise the merge request or the pull request to get our changes merged into the develop right so once after a user two changes are merged into develop then the next step would be we will again raise then uh, raise the pr from develop to master so that master is up to date so this is what we follow in the industry so let me go to the code side right so this is what we discussed so we were having master branch right now let me go to the code side right so if you remember uh, so this is the uh, project that we were discussing so we were having one master branch but now i have created one develop branch as well so how to create a branch on the remote for that what we need to do we need to go to this branch section click on this new branch and then after we need to provide the branch name and from where you want to cut this branch meaning of which branch you create the uh, you want to create the copy so i want to create a copy of develop master i mean sorry right so this is how i have created two branches now as we discussed we don't want users to allow the allow to push the changes directly into the master and develop for that purpose we need to apply some rules so for that purpose what we need to do we need to click on this setting section so when we will click on this uh, setting section uh, what will happen uh, one second i'm unable to click on this uh, settings let me go yeah so if you see uh, what uh, we have done we have uh, simply clicked on this add role so when we will click on this add role we need to use this require a pull request before merging i'm just unclicking unchecking this option and secondly i need to use this do not allow option so that every user should be uh, should not be able to push, push the changes directly so we should not bypass it for anyone right so i have applied these changes already for master and develop so if you go uh, into master you will see i have selected the same option require a pull request before merge and don't allow bypassing right now when i will for example go here and uh, let me track the changes in the master branch so when i will see so when i will see the changes here so what will happen let me first of all take the pill pull because master is not up to date so pull is to take the latest code uh, from the remote now I, if i will type in git status we will see that branch is up to date with origin slash master right now what we need to do uh, uh, we need to for example if i type in git status so there are no changes so what we want is we want to make some changes so for that purpose i have made just one change now i'm going to again type in git status so when i will type in git status we will track the changes right we see that there is a modification in login test login step dev right now what is the next step once we have these changes in the working directory the next step is to add them into the staging area so using git add dot or using git add providing this location this path i mean we will be able to add it into the staging so once we have the changes in the staging so the next step is to commit these changes into the git local directory so what we are going to uh, uh, i'm going to give git commit hyphen m is for that purpose and m stands for message so sample changes for master right now when i will uh, now the next step is git push to push our changes to the remote repository so when we will push these changes we will get one error that it has been rejected by master because uh, the branch is protected right so we cannot so this is how we have protected the master branch now let me uh, reset uh, uh, the commit so don't worry about these commands this we will be discussing later now if i'll check we don't have any changes now so now the next step is so we have implemented the same thing in the developer as well right so what we will do we will uh, go to develop first right um, uh, so how to switch to branch first of all so these are two branches now so how to switch to branch so for that purpose what we need to use we need to use either git checkout the branch name right or what we can do we can go here and click on checkout right so i prefer using the commands so git checkout develop so you see your branch is behind origin slash developed by three commits meaning the remote has some changes so for that purpose what i will do i will simply use git pull to pull the changes from the develop 
right now let me check the changes so git status so when i will now you can see uh, it was previously sh uh, showing master as soon as we clicked on this it shows the latest branch which is selected now how to check which branch we are on so for that purpose we use git branch now you see the one which is highlighted in the, uh, in green color is the uh, the branch that we are currently working on right so once we are switched to this uh, uh, branch so the next step is to cut the branch out of it because we won't be able to push the changes directly into the master into the master as well as develop so for that purpose what is the command that we use git checkout hyphen b uh, the branch name so let us say uh, the branch name which i want to point is uh, which i want to provide is uh, feature slash login so this is the command that we use hyphen b is for the branch so what will happen uh, now the new branch will be created and we will be switched to that branch as well now again i am going to type in git branch so you will see previously there were two branches now there are three branches and feature slash login is now highlighted now the next step is i am going to uh, so if i will for example type in git status so there are no changes right so what i will do i will simply uh, provide git change login feature right now if i will again type in git status so in that case what will happen we see that there are some changes so in order to add them into staging i'll be using git add dot next step is git commit hyphen m so login feature changes right so then now the next step is push these changes into the remote repository now as this was the local branch so no such branch exists on the remote repository so in those cases we will get this kind of uh, notification or warning so we can simply use this recommended command so when we will use this particular recommended command what will happen it will push the changes to the remote branch now as discussed we need to raise the pull request so we can either click on this or we can go to the code side on the remote repository so now let us see so previously if you remember there were two branches right but it has started showing this one as well so i'm going to refresh this so when we will refresh uh, this particular page what will happen mm, view all branches i'm going to use and i'm going just back right you see now that there are three branches which has i'm unable to click on this i'm just going to refresh this so if you see we have now started seeing feature slash login as well and it is saying that there are changes in feature slash login right so what you can do you can either click on this compare and pull request or you can click on this pull request section so from both the places you can raise the pull request so i'm going to click on this create pull request now from this feature slash login what we want is we want our changes to be merged into develop so this is the search branch where we have the changes and this is the develop branch right the target branch now when we will click on this create pull request what will happen in this case uh, it is checking for the ability to merge so you see the branch has no conflict with the base branch base branch means develop uh, but feature slash login has now changes so as soon as i will use this uh, uh, feature slash uh, I, I will click on this merge pull request i'll get this confirm merge message right so uh, these changes are so you see pull request successfully merged and closed now for example if i go to the code side and uh, now you will uh, for example if i'll refresh it i'll go to develop branch so when i will go to develop branch i'll see the latest changes so you see that two minutes ago the changes got merged login feature changes the pro the commit message that we provided so i'm just going simply inside this i'm going into java and i'm going into this step devs and in step devs we made changes here so previously the message was sample change and later we added sample change login feature so if you want to take it look so sample change login feature so now the changes are merged into develop now the next step is because now we have our changes into develop so the next step is we can raise the merge request from develop to uh, master as well so what we are going to do we are going to simply use develop and we will now raise the merge request so when we will raise the merge request again it will verify whether we will be able to merge so it is saying the branch has no conflict with the base branch i'm going to merge it 
right so now if i for example go to master so master now also has started showing this login feature changes if i go inside this java step devs and login step dev right so you see sample change login feature and these changes are in the master so this is um, like how we follow the branching strategy in the industry in case of any queries or doubts feel free to provide it in the comment section i will be more than happy to help you out thank you for watching and in case you like my video i would request you to please like share and subscribe thank you